mode Vorkath recently, and I have a suspicion that it may be either better or at least comparable to killing hard mode. Uh, only with this strategy, and only because it's literally, like, well, it, it's very fast. Basically, we're doing a, um, a dragon skip, essentially. We are trying to one-shot Zemmer Eagle after Vorkath flies, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, it does require good gear, um, so do bear that in mind. Um, I'd recommend, at the very least, the uh, the T95 Lantern. Uh, the five-stack volley is very important, and the T95 Necromancy armor helps a lot as well for the increased conjures. You could probably do it without, uh, just like respawn your guys midway through. Uh, but those are things you definitely need. And also the, the main hand, the extra spec helps. And I've got uh, the EOF with the um, the tier 70 spec. And then the 95 right there with the 95 spec. You also want a, uh, a salve amulet and a, uh, an EOF, of course. Um, you want to EOF the beginning. And what you want to do is you want to summon your dudes outside. Jump on in. A life transfer. Split soul. Uh, ghosty spec. A uh, blade of diamond surge down. Then death mark. Then you want to bloat this guy. And attack him a little bit, and then when you get a good chance, you want to Threads of Fate into Soul Sap, which gives you all your souls there. And then Volley of Souls, and then by that point he should be just about dead with the Death Mark. Um, a bit RNG, but it is what it is. And then you might see here as well, we got a bit lucky. Uh, my Jaspic proc'd outside. Um, this can happen, I I'd recommend Jaspic, by the way, I think it's very good here. But the Jaspic proc'd outside, and I managed to click on Vorkath with like one tick to spare. So at the beginning here, look, I get a um, a free th like 25k damage. That was from before. So when you're inside, what you want to do is you want to do Death Skulls, uh, and then build back up to 100% Adrenaline. Um, I'd also recommend as you enter, make sure you um, activate your Skeleton thingy. That's like the first thing you do, just like spam your Skeleton button. And then after that, Death Skulls, then build back up to 100%. Then you're going to be doing the old Living Death, Adren Pot, Touch of Death, uh, Death Skulls thing. Also make sure that your Salve Amulet is on at this point as well. Uh, also I'd recommend the Undead Slayer Sigil. Um, because just you, you basically want as much damage as you can. Uh, if any minions spawn, especially the Shielder, make sure you just Ballista them down. Death Skulls again when it's up. And you want to be uh, building your soul stacks up to 5 if you can. Um... If you're in slightly less again, you may want to uh, like life transfer at this point. Like I got my kills fast enough that I didn't need to life transfer again, uh, but you may need to. So do bear that in mind. And then basically, you want to get Vorkath. Uh, sorry, yeah, Vorkath down to uh, below like 350k, um, because at that point he will fly soon. I think it's like he does this dragon breath, and it's like two more attacks, and then he flies. What we want to do then is we want to prep Zemmer Eagle. We use a death mark on him straight away. Uh, make sure we get that on. So death mark, and then uh, just do whatever. But it's nice to do an early bloat as well. You want to just build some adrenaline. Make sure we're all good. You then want to split soul. I did this one maybe a bit early, um, but you want to make sure you have your split soul. Probably about around now was a better time to do it. It's like a few seconds later. You kind of get a feel for when he flies um, after doing it a while. So make sure you use that at you know a decent time. Um, and then, yeah, we've got the pre-bloat, we've got the Voln, of course. Uh, we've got the EOF on as well now. We don't want the Salve Amulet for him. You want EOF. So the bloat's there, the split soul's there, the death mark's there, the ghosties and uh, conjures are there. So that's all good. And then, look, he flies away, which means Zemmer Eagle is ripe for the picking. Um, as you can see, my Death Skulls has just come back up. We're going to be using that. Um, I did just also uh, 5 stack volley, which does a ton of damage when you have the split souls back on. I'm just going to rewind a second, um, just to see how much damage that does. So, I'm about to use it. Uh, is it this ability? Or next ability? There you go. So it's 190, it does like 50k damage basically. Like volley of souls plus split soul is huge. And then you want to just like death skulls, and then like finger of death, and then like double weapon spec basically. So like uh, tier 95 and then tier 90 spec with the EOF is basically what you want. And then, just like that, he is dead. You've got to get him down below 30k for Deathmark to proc. But he's just he's just gone. Just like that. It is lovely. A really, really good strat. And uh, yeah, obviously this one was very, very fast. This was my record, which was a 128. Which I was very happy with. 
um, but I was very consistently getting below 1 minute 40. And I reckon with a bit of practice, you guys can very easily get sub 2 minutes. But it's all about just getting him, getting Vorkath down to half HP as fast as you can at the beginning. And then just focusing on Zemmer Eagle after that. Uh, one thing you can do as well, which I don't have a clip of, is if you just barely fail to get to the deathmark stage. Um, like, let's say you know you need to get it to 30k, but he lives on like 45k. Uh, what you can actually do is after Volcath lands, you can keep focusing Zemmer Eagle. You won't do much damage, but as soon as you get in below 30k, Deathmark will proc, and it'll bring him to like 8k because of the because of the damage reduction. But then what you can do is just Deathmark again, and then he'll insta die. But even if you like fail by a little bit, it'll still be a very very good thing to do. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, you know, you can always rewatch this. Um, as I was explaining it, you know, just go over it like with a fine tooth comb. Make sure you know what is going on. It does require good gear to do good damage, so it may not be for everyone. But it is a really cool strat. The kills are fast, and they're also really fun. And you don't use like any supplies really, apart from a few necromancy runes. So it's really nice. I would highly recommend it um, to anyone who is. Uh, wanting to grind Vorkath. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this helped. And thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next one.